All right, so Logic Pro 9 seems to be l blocking the expression pedal input here. I have uh, my controller set up, and I'm moving my pedal back and forth. I'm not really getting anything. So to get this flying with RB3 plug-in on Logic 9, same thing. I moved my expression pedal, not seeing anything. So here's the uh, here's the trick. I'm going to change my controller here. My uh, I've got a uh, Chord Triton. I'm going to change that to controller eight, and you'll see here as I move the me uh, pedal back and forth. Now it's actually receiving uh, eight. Pick something that's not two, four, seven, uh, obviously eleven, or anything else that's that's kind of normal. So we're going to do that. Next thing we're going to do is open up tr uh, the environment, and so we'll put a transformer in here that is going to change just controller 8 to 11. So for some reason it blocks 11, but by sending in something else, changing it to 11, it'll be able to record it and it'll be able to work. So uh, I've got the environment window open and I'm going to go up to click and ports. And this gives us our magic sort of input. We can actually see what's going on here. If I move my pedal up and down, boom, input view. Uh, obviously, if I play something, you can see it there as well. All right, so next thing I want to do is add a new transformer. And it creates a little transformer guy here. So I'm going to move my input view over here. And I want to unplug this cable. So you have to click on it. It'll turn black. Press delete. Next thing I want to do is go out of the keyboard into the transformer out of the transformer into input view and everything's still the same and I move that up and down okay so now I want to change this uh, by double clicking the transformer I'm going to change this to uh, it's going to change controller 8 to uh, controller 11 so we want to go status where it says all here we're going to change that to equals note change that from note to controller Data byte one uh, MIDI message. So you have the controller. This is going to impact any MIDI channel. That's fine. That doesn't really apply to us. Data byte one is our controller number. Data byte two is the value. Like, so if I push the pedal all the way up, data byte two is going to be 127. If I bring it down to uh, zero, it's going to be zero. So we want to leave that alone too. What we want to do is we want to change data byte one. So we want it to match or equal. Eight, so that's what's coming in, and we want to change it. Uh, and kind of their quick and easy way to do that is called fix, which means it's going to send out a fixed number. Change that to eleven, uh, and so uh, make sure this also says apply operation. Let non-matching events pass through. That means node events or any other controllers are unaffected. So now when I close that and I move this up and down, you'll see controller 11 is passing through now as I move my uh, my controller 8 pedal here. And if I look over here on EVB3, you'll see the expression pedal is actually moving. So I can hold and it works. Perfect. And that should do it. And now anything you record if I go here and I scoot this out of the way, actually, yeah, this way, and I press record, I can hold. You can hear it actually uh, records uh, the controller 11 messages for that. If I go down here and look, you'll see for expression, there it is. So I'm not sure why logic tends to block that, uh, but that's kind of the one way to get around it. Good luck.